Hey, what's up? Nasser Malik here. Welcome to another IoT tutorial. Um, on one of my previous tutorials, I did one of these tutorial Alexa taking out the trash, and I noticed if you're too far away from your Wi-Fi router, you may not get a good reception. And uh, um, uh, this uh, Node MCU on this uh, keeps disconnecting and stuff. And I thought if people have a longer driveways. Uh, so what can I do to resolve this issue? And I was uh, thinking about maybe using one of the LoRa modules. Thanks to Ryax, I hope I'm um, pronouncing it right. Ryax said, send me a few modules to experiment with. And uh, thanks for uh, supplying these modules. So I'll be using these for this tutorial to see what the feasibility and uh, how far can I go uh, before I lose the communication between the modules. So let's get started. So in this tutorial, we're going to be using um, some of the following uh, parts. So we're going to be using the Vmos uh, ESP32 OLED uh, board. It has a little LCD screen, so I wanted to print it out, um, whatever I was getting from the GPS, and uh, and check if the communication was happening. And uh, for this uh, tutorial, you're going to need two of these modules. Uh, and uh, I will include the links in the video description for all these parts. I also need a, a, a GPS module and a node MCU and some uh, female to female breadboard wires. So what I wanted to do here was to connect my um, uh, LoRa module and the GPS module to this um, board right here, uh, Vimos, uh, the OLED board to read out the uh, satellite information right here, let long and uh, the satellite, how many satellites were connecting to and heading. And some of this stuff was not working. I mean, I didn't, I changed it at the last minute. So I needed to get this completed. And the time is the one that I'm not reading directly from the GPS module. So what I'm doing to make sure the communication is happening or it's not happening. So what I do is I read all the parameters from here onto the screen right here, whatever I'm capturing, except the time. So what I do with the time, actually, I take that time and I send it over to the base LoRa module, which is connected to Node MCU. I, I forgot to put the Node MCU here. So uh, basically what it does, it it takes in the request you know from the uh, this module and it uh, subtract or parses the information and takes the information and then send that information as is back to this lower module and then basically then uh, Vimos reads that through here and display the time here so uh, again the time is not coming for hey time comes it, it, this module grabs the time from the GPS, sends it to this base module, and the base module parses it and sends it back to this. As long as I see the time on this OLED screen, I know that these two modules are communicating. So once they stop communicating, uh, due to maybe they're out of range and stuff, uh, you would see a text message here saying disconnected. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and hook everything up and then we're gonna sit in the car and see how far we can go. I'm not doing line of sight. I'm just gonna hook this for the first test. I'm gonna hook it up in um, a double-sided tape into my window and then just drive it on my neighborhood and see with all the obstacles and everything, how far can I go? So on the GPS module, you connect ground to ground, VCC to 3.3 volts. The RX goes into 13, pin 13, and uh, TX goes to pin 12. And on this side, on the lower module, you connect ground to ground right here, and the TX goes into the RX on pin 2, and RX goes into uh, pin 14 to TX. They will be mapped to the hardware serial uh, in the software and the uh, VCC goes to the three volts. On the base unit basically the ground goes to ground VCC go to the three volts with node MCU and the TX goes to RX and RX goes to TX. So okay guys so um, you guys need to go to this project on the GitHub. 
and you will need a couple of sketches so this sketch will be um, flashed to the ESP32 OLED um, board uh, with the GPS and LoRa module and this will go into the node MCU with the LoRa module of the base unit okay guys once you download the sketches from the github uh, first thing you need to do is uh, set the parameters on the both modules I forgot to mention about uh, you need uh, a USB to TTL converter for this uh, you can do it without it and I tried to do it and I was not uh, I was 50% successful so you're probably gonna run into issues depend on what type of converter you're using so what I did is I uh, connected to the converter each module and uh, basically set the parameters and after that I was able to use it so these are the parameters you need to set so basically once you connect your um, USB to TTL converter and connect your LoRa module with it directly uh, you open up your um, look at which serial it's using you select the serial number and uh, basically open up your uh, serial uh, window and type in the AT command in here and once you get OK that means is your LoRa module is connected successfully and you're ready to set your parameters if not maybe your LoRa module is using different baud rate you maybe uh, play around with it uh, you know 9600 or something for me the default is uh, 1150 200 so I'm good with it so so what you need to do is one by one you need to copy paste these commands right there and type them in there so for the base uh, unit right here I have a, it's gonna be address one all the parameters are same for the both module except this one address so the base unit will have one address and the other one will have two um, if you can use whatever number is available I know you can use 16 but make sure they're unique and they're when they're communicating with each other especially the uh, Vimos uh, board and is referring to this address otherwise they won't be able to communicate so just go in and you can actually uh, look at the let's say this uh, this address I want to see what it's set to so I can put an AT plus address and a question mark in there so it will tell me that it's set to 3 so I want to set it to 1 so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste this in here uh, to 1 and I'm gonna hit enter and it's gonna say okay it took it so now if I do the same thing again put a question mark it will show me 1 so basically now the parameter is set to one and I'm good to go so you need to set all these parameter right here for this base module so once you're done with the base module uh, you go in and you connect um, you connect your um, a second module that's going to communicate and make sure you set these parameters and uh, make sure the uh, address is two for that and it's the same manner you will set up both module once they're set up then you will connect to the node MCU and uh, uh, ESP32 boards you don't need to change anything on these sketches you just flash them as is okay so uh, to flash the um, ESP32 uh, Vimos um, module with OLED so make sure you select this board right here so you can find it right here and uh, these uh, options are available once you install the um, ESP32 support for Arduino IDE I will include the link in the video description how to do that so okay guys so here what I'm seeing is I have the one module hooked up to the uh, Vimos the ESP32 and it's gonna send a message like this over here it says sending message and it sends it um, this is the timestamp that it's sending and uh, it goes over here you can see it on another window I'm uh, co connected to the COM18 and this is a uh, COM14 and this is the node MCU hooked up to the LoRa module so it actually receives this request and it shows up here uh, and then it sends it back to here which shows up on the LCD screen so when you flash everything everything's successful so you're going to see something similar here so this um, it's gonna say send LoRa message and it's gonna show up on the other uh, COM port on the other module and it's gonna keep going like that and it's gonna say got data so when it sends back this uh, timestamp you see you get this got data I mean you can print out more information but 
Uh, this is just for testing purposes. I want to make sure that these both modules are communicating. So after send lower message, you know, it waits for a few seconds, um, up to five seconds. And if it doesn't get a response back, it bails out and go back into the loop uh, and then starts over again. So even if I, let's say, if I disconnect uh, this module right here, which is not connecting and right now, uh, so right now you see the data coming back. If I disconnect it, it will stop getting uh, the got data uh, so let me disconnect it for a second and now you can see it just send data and there's nothing coming through here because it's disconnected and uh, this is going to keep trying and let's say if i connect it back on it back comes back online it's going to start seeing data again so in this case on the lcd screen you're going to see the gps coordinates and all that stuff but the only thing that is going to not show up is a time stamp and the idea is not the time there's no purpose for it but the idea is that you can take the data and uh, and send it to the base unit uh to laura and uh it, the other module gets it and gives it to the MC, uh, MCU and then it processes it and then send it back to the uh, the sender whoever requested the data you can achieve both way communication it's not very reliable it's slow uh, but it is good for um, if you want to monitor certain things like you know have a weather station or you have um, a, a plant watering plant system or you have um, you know kettles on the ranch and stuff like that you could put put a big antenna on it and you have a pretty good range so let me connect this uh, module back and you'll see uh, that it picks it up and then it'll start communicating again so as you can see it's it's started seeing the data uh, the base module is back on and it's gonna start you don't see it here because I just need to reconnect and that's it so it's now getting the data back so this code is very basic it's not uh, very complicated but it's just the idea how we can use it for both way communication as long as you have a, a small set of data that you want to communicate and process it and send it back to the lower module uh, with these module you can communicate uh, longer distances than Wi-Fi Wi-Fi has short range especially if you can put an antenna outside in uh, line of sight maybe a few kilometers you could go a few miles it's pretty good so i got both module hooked up now so i hooked up the base module to my window with double-sided tape so what i have done here i i used two cameras one pointing at the road and the other one on the uh, gps um, um, module or an lcd display and you can see all the uh, um, parameters from the satellite they're showing up and the time and everything so the idea was so I'm gonna go ahead sit in a car and drive away and see how far uh, I can reach before it gets disconnected so on the time uh, as long as the time keeps showing that means we're connected because it's relaying back to this module so once it's uh, disconnected uh, that means we lost communication it will try to reconnect again sometime it loses uh, but that's fine because we're using a small antenna that came with it so we drove, I thought it was going to go, but I think uh, we can make it like a quarter of a mile. So it's going to get disconnected again because there are a lot of trees and houses and stuff like that. Uh, this is the first test, so the next test probably do it, you know, take it out with a longer antenna and see how far we can go. So quarter of a mile with the small antenna, as you saw, you know, one base module in the window and the uh, other module stick to the <laughs> windshield with double-sided tape. And GPS module is right there, so now it's disconnected. So we're just gonna turn around and head back home in a minute. Uh, well, it's connected again. So, um, so that's the basically idea. Even though I mean, it's it disconnects uh, because the communication is slow, but it's fine. I mean, the purposes we're gonna be using it, it's it's really good uh, because the the range. So right now it has a short range. So once we put a bigger antenna, it's going to work better. And here are some of the components, uh, the close-up, how they are hooked up. So I already have it on a PowerPoint presentation, but I wanted to just go ahead and show you these, uh, how I had them hooked up. I mean, they're pretty straightforward and easy uh, as long as you follow the instructions. Um, I mean, there's nothing to it. You know, 
TX to uh, RX, RX to TX, and uh, it's pretty simple. So this is it for this. Uh, let me know what you think of it, and uh, give me some suggestions, and what can we do. And uh, until next time, bye.